wrong anyways, so no one goes out of the box to really go and explore what is there to learn for themselves. They just, they take what they're being taught. I think that people don't understand that in retrospect, you always pick out the best of that era. But during that era, there's a lot of crap going on. So what's happening now with music, we won't know until 20 years from now when we look back and go, wow, look at all that great shit. It's like people say, oh, the golden years. But could you recognize the golden years? You couldn't recognize the golden years if it smacked you in the face. You only recognize the golden years later on. I think music is great, man. Music is at a great stage. I mean, there's, there's, it's, something is going to happen. And we will know what's going to happen until we look back on it 10 years from now. Hopefully, I think I, go, I can be able to contribute something to that. It'll be a small little part of that little DNA chain. But music is fine, and music will always be fine. You just got sort of frustrated and just don't know what else to do because they're doing the same shit all the time. I mean, if, if, if music is an expression of a higher being, then it's unlimited. So if that's unlimited, then how can we say that music is going nowhere? It, it's impossible. It's a contradiction. Music is going somewhere. We just don't know where it's going. It's up to us to find out where it's going and can we take it. See, a lot of times we can't take it. You know how people say, oh, I got to let God in my life. You no, know, you got to let God out <laughs> from within you to be expressive and find out what's going on. So music is great. Music has always been great and it, it'll keep being great and, and that's just what it is, you know? Depending on what type of music you're into and who listens to your music. Like my type of music, I guess everybody listens, but mainly are teenagers, youth, the youth, the future artists. And I think it, whatever you say in Whatever you say is very sensitive because they follow those things you say. It inspires people, which I think is the most powerful thing that you can do for another human being is to inspire them. It's the best way to communicate that to somebody else, to other people. And, you know, in this age, my music travels all over the world. You can inspire the entire world. Rap right now, you hear songs. You got a rapper, but you don't got an MC where the MC will battle and challenge unless the only time you see that now again is for money. That is what makes hip hop basically what grew out of it. If you, at the end, you kill it to the end, all you gotta have is another record. I believe that music and art is a message. Not only from God, but it's a message that maybe politician people that are tied up with their suits and ties can really deliver the message. If you're powerful enough in your convic conviction then, in the, with the way you express yourself, you can do anything with art. Music is vibrations. When we receive a vibration, we react to it. When I speak, when I give off a vibration, it sends, it, it gives you something and you react to it. So music is a combination of vibrations with the drum, with the voice, with the melody, with the rhythm. And that to me is, is, is the essence of music, that it creates these vibrations to move and to communicate. It can have a huge effect, especially on younger people. I mean, as far as, you know, people that are older and already have, you know, their values and morals set, I mean, I think it's more of a, a release than anything, you know, just a, just a way to escape the, you know, the. The, the pressures of everyday life, you know, having a nine to five like I do, working like a dog, um, you know, just to get away from it. I mean, that's just, it, it can take you to other places. So, but I mean, yeah, I mean, more than anything, I, I, I think that something as influential as music and especially now with videos and everything, like it's not so much just music anymore, you know, it's like it's images attached to everything. Yeah. It can be real negative and bad, you know, and I, that's one thing, like, I, I'm, I can never get behind a project that, that, that would do that, you know? Like, that's the thing, we have a responsibility as, as musicians because, like he said, like, music is not just sound, it's not, it doesn't go through the ears, it goes through the eyes, it's online now, like crazy, everything's on TV, everything's on the radio, so <laughs> there's nothing else in the world that can control you know what I'm saying? People's opinions or people's decisions, like music. There wouldn't be society, there wouldn't be, the world would be chaos. It's art is basically the glue for our society, for life. It's what, it's, it's how humans express, you know, their inner feelings. It's how, it's how people communicate with each other.
Miami. Miami's, you could say, the, the heart and soul of it all, you know, because us, ourselves, even though we represent Broward County, when we first started, we used to have to go there. And even to this day, if we want to go, check out the dope band. Places. Where do we have to go? We have to go to, to Miami because that, that's where it's at. You know what I'm saying? That, that's where the, that's where the gigs are at. Like the band, that's where they get their gigs. There's a lot going on in Miami. There's, there's some big things going on out there. But of course, we keep it to them ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously, the general public, it's not for them. It's kind of for us. It's for us. It's our thing. Every year, Unique Styles puts together Outbreak, an event that brings B-boys, B-girls, and hip-hop lovers from all over together on one dance floor. We basically brought popping back to Miami. We're the first organized popping crew in Miami since way back when. And, you know, 20 years from now, you know, popping has always existed. But I want cast to recognize, that, yo, as old as we are, we came back for the love of it, and we started basically a scene that, that had totally that out. But we are the original, and we are number one, no matter what. Miami is always changing, that's the thing about it. It's very much in constant change. And I've met a lot of people that have come and gone, and I always come back here. It's a great jumping board. I'm very inspired by all the different interactions, the different folks, the different culture, the different music.